Good day, everyone. Thanks for joining us here in the charge. This is the Market Beast, Napoleon Macro. All right, so next up on the list is going to be XPEV. Uh, we're looking to go long this market uh, next week, preferably. If it takes a little bit longer, then we just have to accept that. I'm going to give you the stop out level or the raise an eyebrow level, rather. If it gets below this level, then uh, we may not be uh, in for a bounce soon. So the time frame and the price target, we're going to go over that in this video, hopefully short, right? So um, we'll get it out before the market closes. So welcome back, loyal family. If you're new here, we explore price action via candlesticks and lines only. Welcome to new subscribers. Let's go ahead and dive right into the charts here. Sure. So today's October the 1st, 2021, and the current price of XPEV, $35.50, slightly negative 0.1% for the day. Okay. Now, we, I will be honest, guys. Hopefully, you guys are doing well out there. I will be honest. It's not down enough for me. I like buying into down markets that are like down 4% or more. But uh, let's go ahead and reveal the lines. Okay, so here's the original lines. Hopefully, we leave a link for our last post uh, titled... Uh, is XPEV getting ready to bounce? Yeah, I did the total opposite, guys. I think we came out with that video somewhere over here. And like September the 1st, excuse me, and we were looking for like a price target, a conservative target. I think it was like 40-ish dollars, something like that. But it didn't happen. So we're going to take a sw second swing at it. Uh, we still have the original descending channel. Kind of like a bull flag, right? Uh, but we have the same arbitrary lines and we just got a reaction near that lower level or the lower portion of the range, which is typically where I like to step in near the lower portion of the range that I'm able to identify as opposed to buying into the breakout. Because let's just say that I am on the right track with this pattern here and it actually moves to the previous level of resistance, right? Support, resistance, support, and then it goes up to that resistance line. At least at that point, I'm already in profits and I could decide whether or not I actually want to exit the market or, you know, uh, participate in the thrust out of said pattern, if that makes sense. Yeah, just buying into the lower portion of any pattern that I find. Falling wedge, bull flag, descending channel, it doesn't matter, right? So, yes, yeah, so hopefully that explanation is good. So, here's exactly how I'm going to play this. Let's pull up the um, risk to reward. So, I'm actually interested in entering right here, right now. Um, I don't, uh, this is going to be options. So if I always enter an amount that I'm comfortable with losing literally like all of it. Okay. Uh, so the level that I would say, hmm, yeah, something's not right. is going to be 3346. So if it actually, you know, gets below that level, then, you know, uh, yeah, it's, it's out of my understanding of what's going on here, guys. Um, and it's probably not within this pattern. It's just, you know, breaking down, uh, the potential price target, the conservative price target is like $40. Um, even if you want to be like super conservative and just kind of play it just before that psychological level at about $40. I mean, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Uh, the previous swing high uh, from the daily candles is $39.16. I'm not sure if you guys are, were uh, looking at that last play that we made on, a, on an instrument where the swing high, you look for the swing high, which is right here at about $35.16. So what happens is uh, remember the sellers they're they're in the market right they want to what they want to do is continue to push a price down ever since they stepped in here at about 46 dollars okay at uh july the 1st 2021 they stepped in push a price down lower low okay up lower high down lower low up took out the swing high okay and then down made a higher low up but then made a lower high and it recently did not take it took out this previous swing low here at about august the 17th right August is 17th, right here, it took out the swing low, but it did not get lower than this low here at about July the 28th. So naturally, I'm going to say that this is a higher low. You see, this is a low here. I wicked as low as 33.86, but however, this area over here only wicked as low as 34.31, okay? So this is, so when I see stuff like this, I take that opportunity to see if I can enter with the low risk play. All right, because it just made a higher low and now it will naturally try to take out the previous swing highs, guys. Again, 39.16. So from the current level, I'm not sure. Hopefully, I've, I've hoped for it to actually happen like next week, like Monday or something, get a nice aggressive push. That's in less like an 8% move to the upside. So on options, I mean, that's really good. Okay. So that's the blueprint, guys. Uh, we're looking to all next week, I'll be focusing on this this uh, stock here 
and uh, we'll see if we can get some uh, some fireworks, some action out of this stock. So um, it's important. It's a 1.8 uh, risk to reward ratio, by the way. All right, so this is uh, that's pretty much the blueprint. Uh, a week up to two weeks, we just have to assess if it's going to get lower. Okay, uh, you have the price target, you have the ratio, and I think we're pretty much done here, guys. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. So we'll leave an update ever so often. Remember, execute your strategies out there, guys. If just because I'm going along this market doesn't mean it's going to happen. Please, please, please execute your strategy. All right. So that's the end of the video. Hopefully you guys stuck around to the end. If you did, thank you. So if you don't mind, can you go ahead and leave an appropriate thumb just below the video if you enjoyed the content and leave a comment so that the YouTube algorithm can promote this video. If you're new, we also explored the traditional stocks, alternative markets, sorry, seven days a week. So kindly join us here on this interesting journey and we'll send that out to you momentarily. I thank you for your time, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, remember to execute your strategies as we mentioned uh, multiple times. Uh, always be kind. We'll talk soon. Keep that positive energy. And bye for now.